Hi, welcome to my math tutorial. In today's video, we're going to talk about application of differential equation. One of the application in differential equation is free-falling body. We know that to determine a height, uh, we have the formula 1 half gt squared plus vit, where y is the height and g is the acceleration due to gravity and t is the time from which the object fa falls and vi is the in initial velocity. So from our problem here, an object from a certain y height is dropped vertically with an initial velocity of vi and falls to the ground at time t. Determine the height which the object falls. Assume no air resistance. So this formula uh, is only ap applicable assuming that no air resistance because if there is air resistance then this formula cannot be determined okay we know that ac that acceleration is defined as the derivative of velocity with respect to time so from here we cross multiply we have dv equals g dt from there we integrate we will have integral of db is equals to the integral of g dt we have v is equals to g t plus c c is the arbitrary constant so c should be determined according to parameters from the figure we have the initial velocity when time is zero so when time is zero velocity is vi vi equals g times time equals zero plus c so we can solve c c is equals to vi therefore our equation from here we determine we determine that v is equals to g t plus v i where v is velocity at any amount of time also velocity is also de determined as the derivative of distance with respect to time but from our problem is is the distance which is y is equals y so from heat from there velocity is equals to d is over dt our v here uh, let's call this equation one our v here is the equation one which is d is over dt is equals to g t plus v i from there we also cross multiply d t so this becomes d is equals quantity g t plus v i times d t then we integrate we have integral of d s plus the integral of quantity g t plus v i dt therefore s is equals to the integral of g t is equals to one half g t squared plus v i t plus another arbitrary constant uh, let's call c1 but s here is y y is equals to one half g t squared plus v i t plus c1 so again we will determine the arbitrary constant c1 from our figure so be before time starts to count the object is not yet fall so which means our y or the distance height is not yet determined which is 
the height is 0. When, when height y is 0, t is 0. Therefore, when y is 0, time is 0. Substitute all the y's and t's from the equation. So, therefore, c1 is 0. Thus, our height y is equals to 1 half gt squared plus v i t, where y is the height at any given time t. But in our problem, here the object fall, falls. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching my tutorial. Uh, I hope you will subscribe and learn something more. Enjoy. Thank you.